Hey, what's up everyone? Luigi GX right here and Tango be reacting to SpongeBob and Patrick versus Mickey Mouse and Goofy. Now, as always, make sure to go to the original video. We'll be right back here to watch it together. But anyway, Mickey Mouse versus Goofy. I mean, I was kind of expecting more like the rematch. Like, I'm that's what I'm thinking right here. I'm thinking that's kind of like the rematch between the first time, like, I can't react to the first time because I kind of didn't have this laptop before, but still. Yeah. SpongeBob and Patrick versus Mickey Mouse and Goofy. Now, I wonder if they're going to be using Kingdom Hearts, which are going to be including, like, Kingdom Hearts, Mickey Mouse, and Goofy, because th those two are awesome. I mean, I don't know if they're the same one. Well, actually, I don't, know, I don't think they're the same persons, but anyway. I, the only Kingdom Hearts game I ever played was Dream Drop Distance for 3DS, for 3DS. Like, that's just it. Like, I don't, I couldn't, like, afford the real Kingdom Hearts. I couldn't buy any of it because, like, because I had no money. So, yeah, that's embarrassing. And I'm mad enough, I'm mad enough to admit, admit that I didn't have any money. But anyway, yeah, this going to be something really great. So... I can't wait to find out how this fight's gonna go, but let's just react and find out. I make sure you rewind. Cartoon Fight Club. I'm trying to fix my face. Sonic versus the Flash. Sans versus Silver. Ichigo versus Yusuke. And yes, I finally know that guy's name. Yes, you all thought it was gonna happen. Santa Pirates versus. Dragon Knock A, Fang versus Sweetie, but yes! All of you thought I, this was gonna happen again, like I don't know his name. But guess what? Now I know. Now I found out. I found out. I saw. I took out one of his earlier videos before this, but now I know. It's Yusuke. Yusuke right there. So in your face, those people that are probably doubting me that I don't know his name, it's Yusuke. Tonight's episode right. was animated by Xeno Animation. And before you ask, yes, Xeno Animation is just Xeno, but he created a new channel, and I'll explain huh. why in a later video. But for now, let's okay. discuss tonight's fight. This battle is the rematch between Mickey Mouse and SpongeBob Oh, I was right. So if you have not seen the first round, I highly, highly recommend you do that first. Uh, now, the animation kind of sucks right there, but then again, it was animation rewinds first time. SpongeBob and Mickey. But to expand the debate further, I upgraded this fight from not only having prep time, but also a two-on-two -two battle between yep. Mickey Mouse and Goofy Goof versus SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick. Yeah, you know, this one's gonna be a hard one for me. I mean, I really love both these, all four of these characters. I kind of love Patrick more than Goofy. Wait, that's his real name? He's got his pal Goofy on his side to back him up in this fight. Also, and it's true, plus Mickey Mouse has gone a lot. Sorcerer's hat in combat. And because we already discussed Mickey's basic abilities in the original I mean, fight, for this episode, we are going to discuss the Sorcerer's hat and his sidekick Goofy. Goofy Goof, known better as Goofy, is clumsy but ultimately good-natured. Goofy but seriously, that's something I heard, like... Donald Duck's best friends. However, he is not too bright, and this can lead to problems. Uh. Goofy is well known for his extreme durability. He is so durable that he can survive mountain-high freefalls, moon-busting explosions, seriously? and even high-tier reality warping. Wait, why is this friend Mickey will be handling most of the magic with his sorcerer's hat? With the sorcerer's hat, Mickey can do a lot of high-tier reality warping and creation. He can bring life to lifeless objects and can control oh. them with his will. He can also create whole Wait, didn't that everything go bad with, with that? Literally, with the swing of his hand, Mickey Mouse can form and destroy entire galaxies with the power of his sorcerer's hat. Heck. The strongest aspect to both Mickey and Goofy's arsenal is their Toon Force. With Toon you know, I, was, I would like to see a one-on-one -on -one against Mario and Mickey. Well, that's just me, like Nintendo versus Disney. Crazy things like tamper with story plots, travel faster than light, and defy all forms of nature. Mickey and Goofy are also both excellent fighters. As seen in the Kingdom Hearts game, yep. they have great I knew they were going to include Kingdom Hearts. Good game, by the way, and great series. Great series right there. 
Overall, Mickey and Goofy are an excellent duo who work well together, but sometimes Goofy's clumsiness gets in the way. All right. Now to Sponge, let's discuss SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, SpongeBob is ready for a rematch as this time he has his best friend forever, Patrick Star, by his side. Yep. Because we already covered SpongeBob's basic abilities yep. in his first match against Mickey, for this episode we are going to cover his sidekick Patrick Star, how they work together as a team. Oh, I saw that movie. It was a great movie. Page. Patrick Star is SpongeBob's best friend, neighbor, and sidekick. Yep. He is a very foolish, yep. clueless, and dim-witted starfish. Yeah, that, could, that is true. Friendly and well-meaning. But he also is tough. Overweight and loves ice cream as well as many other junk foods. He resides yep. under a rock, which he claims he built all by himself. SpongeBob That's true. and Patrick have been on many adventures together and saved both the world and the Nickelodeon multiverse on many occasions. Both SpongeBob and Patrick do many crazy things like read minds, manipulate Wait, dreams, why is that background music sound, sounds a lot like Fairy Godparents? Underwater and even give life to dead sand. However, Wait, the seriously? most powerful thing in their arsenal is the elements of the magical page. The elemental magical pages are pages of the magic book of reality. Oh yeah. This book is a literal story of reality's predestined plot. Whatever is written in this book will ultimately happen in real life. Yeah, this that's true. Grant wishes, rewrite history, change the events of the future, and warp reality. Seriously? The dolphin described that this book could destroy all of reality, which is a good limit point for the book's overall power. Okay, this could be a problem for them, because Mickey and Goofy can alter, like, stuff like that. ...page inside his own mind, which means that SpongeBob can use the magic of the page simply through thinking. He doesn't oh. even have to write with it. With the page, SpongeBob okay. has formed himself into the Invincible, and Patrick became Mr. Super Awesomeness. Yep. Overall, SpongeBob and Patrick have access to a universal top tier reality warping magical page, which has uh. the ability to predestine. Whoa, a worm. Uh, no, wait, that was dinosaur Patrick. For a fight. This will be a two on two rematch between Mickey Mouse. Anyway, and Mickey I can't wait for this fight. SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Star with three weeks of prep time. Let the all right, begin. can't wait for this one. <laughs> hey, Kingdom Hearts Goofy. Oh, had it, fellers. This one that ice cold Michelle play for that white gold. This one for that, that? girls and good girls. Wait, oh, no. I was tired of that song. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. You sure have lots of friends to help. All right. Donald! Help! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Why is... What's going on right here? Is Mickey just running at Goofy? Right. And what is Dol? What is Dolan doing? Oh, Aladdin! Ariel! Beast! Help! Goofy! 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 What is going on? What is going on right here? What is going on? We can do anything. <laughs> Yup! Three weeks later. Just see now. <laughs> You're going down, Mouse. Uh -huh. Bring it on, Sponge! What you want? You okay, Patrick? Three, two, one, fight! Alright. Ah. Oh. Ooh, the keyboard! Oh, keyboard versus Spud. Spatula. Ninja, shoot each other! Attack! Ninja, shoot each other! Fight! Look out! Oh! Well, Goofy can take punishment. <laughs> All right, he's gone. They'll pay for this. Oh, is that SpongeBob with SpongeBob right there from the first SpongeBob movie? When SpongeBob has a flying cat, cat flying king that's in the crowd. Oh. 
Okay, to be honest, and no, not because it's just happened right now. I gotta make this well, clear. Looks like SpongeBob is two and zero. Oh. Now, before we discuss why he wins, I want to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, Zeno Animation. Zeno Animation is just Zeno; it's his new channel. So please go subscribe to it if you enjoyed what you saw. Now let's discuss Spongebob and Patrick versus Mickey and Goofy. Now this is a rare debate that requires something difficult to do. That difficult task is finding the limits of each character's tune force, reality warping magic, and overall inconsistent abilities. Oh. Let's face it, all four of the characters here are extremely inconsistent, and this is all well and thanks to the logic-breaking laws of cartoon physics and tune force. When it comes to cartoon physics, there's only one rule. There are no rules. However, thanks mm -hmm. to something special in SpongeBob's arsenal, there's a loophole to the no rule rule. All right. And that very thing is his magical page. For starters, I could safely say that if SpongeBob did not possess the magical page, and if he was facing a sorcerer's hat Mickey, then Mickey Mouse would easily be able to turn SpongeBob into a dead kitchen sponge. Oh. So, thanks to the elements of the magical page, All right. this is not the case. For starters, Bubbles the Dolphin confirms that the page has the power to destroy all of reality, oh. as shown here. Find the last page and pick up any other pages like this one before reality as we know it ceases to exist. Oh. Shouldn't be too hard. That makes sense. Later on, we learn that Sandy Cheeks has discovered that SpongeBob actually has a page inside his own mind. I think the last page is in your mind. Well, let's get in there and get it. And they all went into SpongeBob's brain. Which means oh, that Spongebob that was can literally predestine the plot for him to win simply through his own imagination. Oh. It's good to keep showing parts about games and the, wow, I never thought and the show. Like, it's good to keep doing that. You could argue that Mickey has the magic and tune force to do his own plot writing. And technically he does. Both characters have abilities to predestined plots, so when figuring out who could do it faster, the very category to look towards is speed. The fastest thing I could find for Mickey Mouse is scaling to Ven from Kingdom Hearts. Wait, who can think faster? It's Mickey's top speed at 72 times the speed of light, which is fast, but surprisingly, Team SpongeBob has something faster. Patrick Star actually ran to the sun and back <laughs> Oh, yeah, Which that part was hilarious to me. 186 million <laughs> miles in less than 14 seconds. This makes Patrick Star 159 times the speed of light. If Patrick is 159 <laughs> times the speed wow. of light, don't even get me started on how fast SpongeBob is. Want to see me run to that mountain and back? You want to see me do it again? Don't mess with the quickster. Ooh. He's yeah, he's faster than the Flash. The winners are SpongeBob and Patrick. Now, if you want to see a total war between the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse gang and the Sponge Out of Water heroes, you know. Ah, uh, this is gonna be awesome. I actually want that. Don't comment down on this video. Comment down on his video. Five thousand total war comments. There will be a total war. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed. Alright, who are the next fighters? Of Cartoon Fight Club. <gasps> Cammy and... Cammy? Wait, there's already gonna be a fight between Cammy with Sonya. <laughs> Looks like you're having fun. Wait, are those DLCs of Street Fighter V? Get on board. You can pay me for this with that. Let's see. Or is the other girl? What do you want, freak? A new dance partner. Oh, for Sunshine, now it's gonna be Cammy. Alright. But yeah, that one was actually pretty good. Alright, but 
there's still some problems I wish that couldn't work a little better. Like I wish, like if Goofy had his shield from the Kingdom Hearts series, and I know Mickey Mouse had his Keyblade, but where was Goofy's shield? And to be honest, like, I don't know how things are gonna like. Like seriously, I feel like that that they should have like a shield and SpongeBob and Patrick kind of like had a full-on full arsenal and. I think they will all have a full on full arsenal. Yeah, that's just me. I feel like this could, this fight could have gone a little better if it had like more weapons, more like fighting styles, more stuff. Yeah, that's just me. All right, so um, yeah, that just happened. To be honest, I'm kind of a little sad. This I saw one of my favorite Disney characters end up, you know. But still, it's pretty cool how, but seriously, if Sponge Underwater or that book never exists, then maybe Mickey Mouse and Goofy would have a chance to win. But I guess stuff just comes. But anyway, this is a great video, though. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX. Out.